uh, the most uh, traditional way to deliver chemotherapeutics is to infuse them directly into the bloodstream. And for that reason, uh, the drugs have to be designed in a way that they can be soluble, not only in the blood, but also be soluble in the membrane and, and diffuse into the membrane through it and then into the inside of the cell. And often they act on targets inside the cell, such as DNA or various other protein machinery involved in cell division are common targets. Um, unfortunately, the problem with that is that this diffusion process is pretty inefficient. So we have to administer pretty large doses of drug into the bloodstream in order to get what is a, a lethal dose into the inside of the cell, a dose that will kill the tumor cell. Um, so what we've tried to do is find um, these more efficient routes into the cytoplasm or the inside of the cell. And the route that we've come across is using the junction network that connects cells. So um, there are multiple types of cell junctions, but the one we're exploiting is what's called a gap junction. And a gap junction, you can think of it like a tunnel where, um, or, or a door between two hotel rooms, something like that, where there's a, um, uh, the proteins that make up this channel make a pore. And there's a uh, half of the pore is on the surface of each cell. And when the two halves come together, we open a channel between the cells. And cells use that mechanism all the time to share nutrients, share information. And we wanted to see if we could use that network to share drugs. So what we did was we made particles that contained half of the channel that we called connectosomes because they can connect to cells through the junction network. And then when these particles interact with the cell, they provide half the junction, the cell provides the other half, and that opens this channel and it lets the drugs diffuse much more rapidly into the cytoplasm of the cell and it lets us build up that toxic dose in the cells using a lower overall dose of the drug.